Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, and it's good to see a room full of people, especially on this day when it just started snowing. I, I woke up early in the day. It was, it was raining. I didn't expect snow. And then suddenly there was a snowstorm, a, a tiny snowstorm, because I'm from India and we don't get snow there uh, often. And it did give me a good rush of cardio uh, early in the morning, running from my coffee place to this uh, venue. So I'm warmed up for this day, uh, and also sharing the updates with you from the platform working group. Uh, a quick show of hands from uh, everyone in this room. How many of you uh, are attending this Platform Engineering Day for the first time ever? Wow, that's, that's quite a few uh, you know, hands there. And secondly, how many of you know or have very little idea about the platform working group? Or do, do you don't even know that the group exists? OK, I see some 50-50 sort of. Cool, so I'm here to give you a quick update on what the platform engineering uh, working group is. What do we do? Uh, what are the few things that we have already done? Some of the things that are work in progress and where you all can come in and help us. And yeah, that's how I will put it through. Uh, so I'm Atul Priya Sharma. I'm based out of Hyderabad in India. And uh, I'm a senior developer advocate at InfraCloud. I'm also a CNCF ambassador. Uh, these are my social handles. Uh, quite active on Twitter and LinkedIn. So X and LinkedIn. So if you are interested, please connect with me there. Now, I remember it was a year ago when I was reading more about DevOps. And that's when I stumbled upon platform engineering as a term. And that got me interested to learn more about, hey, what the hell is this new term? What's going around? Is it not DevOps? Or what, what's so special about platform engineering? That's when I Googled up and stumbled upon the platform uh, white paper that was just being published. I went through it, got some idea of what platforms actually are, what platform engineering is all about. And that's when I got to know about this group. Now, I have been given a minute to talk about my journey in this group, and I hope that inspires quite a few of you to be a part of this group as well. So I joined this group about in August. That's my first message, very first message that was there in the Slack uh, group. Uh, and it was mainly around, you know, I was reading some paper, and it didn't make sense to me. And I did hesitate a bit that, hey, this thing doesn't look right. Uh, hesitated for a couple of days, I finally put it there. And then I got a good support from a lot of people, some of them even agreeing to uh, you know, my, my, my views on that particular piece that we had worked upon. Uh, then on, I got involved in working on the platform maturity model, which uh, I'm assuming a lot of you would have already seen that. And uh, we, we, you know, we broke it into a lot of different sections. And I was like being a developer for a decade, I think, one particular section made more sense to me, and I quickly raised my hand and I was like, "Hey, I want to do, uh, you know, I want to probably take up this particular section of the maturity model." And I had absolutely no idea of what I'm going to do there. So, you know, I read a few things. Little did I know. I just put it in a paper and I shared it with the team, and then we reiterated it, reiterated it, and that became the maturity model that you see today. So, that was my second, uh, you know, milestone in the group. Uh, the third one was the platform engineering lightning talk, uh, which I gave it in Chicago, which was interestingly my first international trip, my first KubeCon, my first international talk. It all happened in the platform uh, engineering group. So uh, I'm sure you know we we did uh, put out the form for CFP for lightning talks this year as well, uh, and if. All of you or some of you would have submitted it. If your talk is selected, you probably know that your talk is selected. So probably uh, in the coming days, you would also be a part of the, the lightning talks that would happen on the platform engineering booth. Uh, and then I started, as, as time passed, I learned more about platform engineering based on the discussions the, from the diverse set of people who are present in the group. I wrote an article which was there on the new stack, which was, again, a big milestone. Uh, and then I took up the mantle for doing blog post, although Abby is the one who's, who's, who's driving it quite a bit. But then I did, I did come up with an idea, and I'll take some credit of that, that you know, let's, let's just have some, uh, you know, some, some system to the chaos, uh, put a blueprint so that uh, it, it becomes easier for people to share their ideas. Because eventually, as a community, it's, we have to be open, and we need to ensure that everyone's voices is heard. So we suggested we built a charter for creating blog posts for the working group. 
And finally, the leads realize that, OK, I might be the person who can help them do greater things as well. And hence, a few weeks back, I was nominated and elected as the working group co-chair. So that. So thanks to everyone, all the leads here, for, for you know, trusting me with this responsibility. And yes, that is one more credential added to my foot. foot. So that's my journey here. And I'm sure that you know, a lot of you who are here, and uh, you know, if you have been in the field or if you're new to this, this is how you can start. Even if you don't know where to start, what to do, just join the Slack community, throw in what you have, and then definitely one of us will pick it up and guide you through the entire journey. So moving on with the updates, uh, like I said, now for the next few minutes, I would be just touching upon each slide for a few seconds on what we have done, what we are doing, and where, we, where you can contribute. Uh, beware, there are a lot of QR codes here. But in case you miss to scan any of them, we have the deck uploaded on Shed. So you can download it and go through the uh, slides again. So the first and foremost thing that the group did was the platform white paper, where we laid out a charter of what a platform exactly is. Uh, what are the various uh, capabilities it should have, the services, the interferes, uh, sorry, uh, interfaces, as well as the entire gamut of platforms. So that was what we did. That led to the platform maturity model, where the whole idea now was, hey, a company has a platform in place. Now, how do they evolve over time and mature as an organization? So we did the maturity model, uh, and we had a lot of indicators and levels in this on different aspects. So this is something which I'm assuming is one of the most popular uh, asset that the group has created. So this is the one that you can check or you would have seen. Uh, the next one is the platform maturity model assessment. That is one thing which the group is working on. So now that when you have the maturity model in place, how do you judge where in the journey you are? Right? So there is an assessment tool that the, work, that the team is working on at the moment. Uh, we have the discussions going on in terms of what kind of questions, what kind of interface should be a part of the, uh, the entire assessment. So you can join the Slack channel. We'll have the link shared where you can participate and guide us on that. Uh, the another thing that's happening right now are the platform as a product interviews. We all have read, watched a lot of videos and agree that the platform has to be treated as a product for it to be successful. And that is where a, a group of people within the working group have started or have been working on this initiative for a few months. And we are reaching out to people for you know, understanding how they use platforms in their organizations. And this is what uh, you know, we have built for now. So we had these interviews happening. If you are interested to be a part of this interview, this QR code is for you. And you know, anyone from the working group, specifically from this team, will reach out to you once you submit your details. The another uh, asset that we are working on is the translation, which I feel is very important to make the entire working group more inclusive. So we have had uh, a lot of people from different languages and different backgrounds helping us translate a lot of assets that we already have from English to different languages. And this is what uh, the status of all the assets right now is. Uh, this QR code will take you to the GitHub issue that is open for a particular language. So if you are uh, comfortable with the language and you can help us translate an asset, please feel free to pitch in and give in your, I mean, support us in doing that. With that, I would like to call upon the other two co-chairs uh, who have helped me and the group move ahead. I'll have Abby and Colin on the stage. Thank you so much, Atul. Uh, thank you so much. That shows just how much breath we're doing in the working group. But I just want to reiterate uh, the early journey that Atul just shared and how it starts with just reaching out. We're a really welcoming bunch. We, we're coming up here so you can see our faces and come find us throughout the rest of the day and the week. It all just starts with a conversation. So please come get involved and, uh, and share your ideas and share what you would like to see come out of the wider group. Uh, quick plug. Oh, I can't talk. <coughs> I, I'm losing my voice like you normally do. Um, uh, quick plug. Uh, in uh, Every morning this week, we are doing a platform coffee. Um, so at 7.15 in the morning, if you're interested in discussing kind of some of the philosophy behind platforms, having good generative discussions with other folks about what they're doing with platforms, we're going to Coupla Coffee. And it's at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, we're typically there for an hour or so, just until people need to trickle back to the conference. But open invitation. Please come 
hang out. Uh, find one of us, find us around the conference, ask us questions, see how you can get involved, ask us for our opinions, we're happy to share. Uh, but thank you guys for being here and thank you for supporting Platform Engineering. Great, uh, thank you so much, Abby and Colin. So this is the QR code that you can scan to get the deck, and then you can find all of us here and enjoy a wonderful day today. Thank you so much.